Hello there, I'm Rylan, and it's happened again. An LHR unlock has been released by MB Miner. Now, the difference between Nice Hash releasing theirs yesterday and MB Miner's releasing theirs today, Nice Hash is its own proprietary centralized software, which kind of defeats the point of cryptocurrency. But with MB Miner here, unlocking it fully, we see the full hash rate here of our cards. We can point our hash rate at wherever we want. Here, right here. 120 mega hash roughly 119.5 is what I got that's incredible um, I'll leave the link in the description below here for you uh, here are the temperatures right here memory temperature is 95 degrees my fan is set to 77 that's actually pretty good and the GPU temperature is 53 degrees right there it says in the software that I'm right here that I'm pulling 260 watts in reality with the full computer I have my watt meter right here and it says I'm drawing 330 watts that's roughly the same with the previous LHR unlocks. I booted up T-Rex here to compare it and, it, and my watt meter says that it's roughly 310, 315 watts, so only a 15 watt difference. One thing you, to note from this is that you have to run it as administrator in order to get the LHR unlock to kick in. And whenever I mess with limiting the power, it made no effect. Um, until I went all the way down to 75, which the hash rate dropped, but the power didn't. Here I am on the two miners page, and if we scroll down here, uh, I have a total of 335 mega hash on this pool, and this is like everything I've got. I pointed it, I pointed it to here because I want to get, I want to pull in as much Bitcoin, but I do plan on switching back to mine completely flux. Anyway, so right here, this one right here is my computer that's right next to me. It says 121. So the pool is reporting it. It is, it's 100% legit. Anyway, that's about it. Two more things. One, I'm glad that another mining software has figured this out. I would be pretty disappointed if we went weeks and weeks and weeks and only NiceHash had the 100% unlock. And then second of all, I asked a buddy of mine online, Yeti, I'm sure you might be familiar with him. How does he think it works? Basically, the way I think they are doing it is they found the same loophole in the firmware that allows you to basically segment one megabyte of the VRAM. In that one megabyte of the VRAM, you hide your program to fool the LHR. It's how I suspect they're doing it. But maybe not. That's what he messaged me. He at one point was developing his own LHR unlocker. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Do you think that this is going to cause LHR card prices to go up or down? Let me know in the comments. Like, do you have any LHR cards? Is this a big change for you? You're going to gain a lot of mega hash from this. Your farm that previously did 500 mega hash is now doing 650 mega hash. Or, I don't know, if all of your cards were LHR. But anyway, that's it from me. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts on this are. I'm very interested to hear that. Thanks for watching. Bye.